first tonight, many across West Memphis, Arkansas, are reeling after a two-year-old boy was shot and killed, his mother also injured. Thanks for joining us for the News at 5. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Yeah, this is tragic. I'm Shay Arthur. Greg is off tonight. As a result of that shooting, the calls for change are growing louder. WRAG's Jordan James joins us live after speaking with neighbors. Hey, Jordan, what are they telling you? Hey, Shay, one neighbor I spoke with described the shooting as a war zone. And hours after that shooting, the impact of it still remains tonight. Bullet hole after bullet hole marks the spot where a gunman opened fire on a West Memphis home early Friday morning. I talked to the Lord here last night praying and said, Lord, seems like I'm in a war zone. When the gunfire stopped, police say a two-year-old boy was killed and his mother was injured here along North 18th Street, where we find neighbors relying on their faith hours after the shooting. I came out here this morning to offer prayers, condolences to the family, to those in the community, to see what we can do to be an aid during this most challenging moment. Neighbors tell WREG the home was shot up twice in one day. As investigators work to determine a motive for the shooting, hearts are broken across the community. That is so sad. That's sad, you know, that our children can't even go to get to be in home and you think you're safe in your home and then you're really not safe in your home because they was in, in the house and this child and got shot. Police say they believe this is the first child to be killed in West Memphis this year. However, Pastor Anthony King believes it's one too many. It's always tragic to hear when a little one has been the, uh, the result of a community violence. And that's one of the reasons why we're trying to come together as a church, the community, the police department. Calls for unity and change amid the death of a young life gone too soon. Police say they have not made an arrest in the case and also are working to determine if that shooting is connected to other incidents across the city. Reporting here in West Memphis, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3.